By now, most of us have the new Facebook timeline on our profile page. In this lesson for Photoshop Elements, I'll show you how to create a cover for your new timeline and coordinate it with the profile picture that appears next to your name in all of your posts. This is an example of what we're going to do. I'm using this image from Maine to create the cover which is the larger image on top. And the profile picture is a cutout of the larger picture that nestles right into the cover so that they look like they are coordinated. To complete this lesson, we'll use a Photoshop template that you can download from the Alaboni.com website. This is what the Photoshop template looks like. It is a file in PSD format. The file contains several see-through overlays that will help when we are sizing and copying and cutting the two images, our Facebook cover and our profile picture. The Facebook cover is 850 pixels wide by 315 pixels high. And the profile picture finish size should be 125 pixels on each side. Notice that this is a, a layered file and we do not need to look at the dimensions while we're working so in the layers panel click the visibility icon next to the dimensions layer to turn it off. Now we can go and open a photo. We're using this photo from Maine of a lighthouse and then press control A or from the select menu choose select all to select all of the pixels in the photo. Then from the edit menu choose copy, go back to the cover template and in that template file click on the background layer then from the edit menu choose paste and the photo is pasted into the background layer. Now the photo was quite a bit larger than the template and we're, need, we're going to need to resize and reshape the photo to fit into the template space. With that background layer selected, press Control T to see the transform handles and then press Control 0 to show the size of the photo in your work area. You can now drag an edge of the photo in until the parts of the photo that you want to see appear in the image. While you still have the transform box selected, you can move the box up and down. And we don't need to be exact right now. We'll work a little bit more with it after we make this initial transformation. So let's commit that operation. And double click on the zoom tool to show the image at full size in your window. I would like to have a little bit of the C appear in the cover photo. And I also would like to have this little red building be up closer to the right corner of the profile picture. And notice that there's a bright area down below. This area does not matter because it will be covered by a white space on your Facebook page. We can choose the Move tool and move the picture up a little bit. Now that actually looks pretty good. We have a little bit of the ocean over here. We have the red house over to the right and our lighthouse up above. However, if you wanted to work further in transforming this and moving it around, you could press Control T to get your transform box and then press Control 0 again to work in the larger screen and then move some things around. And actually let's move it just a little bit and then click the green arrow to commit the operation. Again, double click the zoom tool to see this full size. Now we have our cover picture and our profile picture positioned exactly how we want them. 
Let's first make a copy of the cover photo and save it, and then we will make a copy of the profile picture and save it. In your Layers panel, click on the cover photo layer, then press Control plus click on the thumbnail to make a selection of just the cover area. Then in the Layers panel, select the background layer. From the Edit menu, choose Copy. We're going to make a new image that we can then save. From the File menu, choose New, then choose Image from Clipboard. We now have a cover image for our Facebook page. From the File menu, choose Save As, and then from the Format list, choose JPEG, and save your Facebook cover as a JPEG file. Click Save. Now let's work on our little square profile picture. In the Layers panel, select the Profile Picture layer. Press Control and click on the layer thumbnail to select the little profile picture. In the Layers panel, select the background layer again, then do Edit, Copy, and from the File menu, choose New, and then Image from Clipboard. You now have a little profile picture image. There's one problem with this, however. Our picture is 125 by 125 pixels, but Facebook won't allow us to upload an image of this size. Their limit is 180 by 180 pixels. So from the image menu, choose Resize, and then choose Image Size. In the Image Size dialog box, enter a resolution of 72 and a width and a height of 180 pixels. You should have resample, constrained proportions, and scale styles selected. And then click OK. Our image has been resized up a little bit, but it will look just right when we pull it into Facebook. Now we can save this image. Let's choose Save As. From the format list, choose JPEG. And let's just call this Profile Pic. For JPEG options, make it a maximum quality size and click OK. Going back to our example, we have created the little profile picture image and we've created the Facebook cover. And when you're in Facebook, you have options to upload your Facebook cover and upload your profile picture. When Facebook uploads your little profile picture, it will resize it to 125 by 125 pixels so that it will fit nicely in this area of your overall image. You can do many interesting things using these coordinated timeline covers and profile pictures. If you go to the Alaboni.com website, there are links to some examples of ingenious ways people have used these coordinated images to make an interesting Facebook cover.